Hey everybody and welcome back to Grounds Family Farm. Have we got an exciting one for you today. We've got a lot of new faces here so we wanted to just let you know who we are for those that don't know. We are a family of four living in central Arkansas. My name is Kevin. This is my wife Kimberly. This is our daughter Abby. She's 10. This is our daughter Izzy. She's six and is about to turn seven. Um, the girls got up early today. We got all the morning chores done. Decided to come out and show you all the cows again. It's been a little bit since we've shown the cows on video. Got a lot of baby calves, wanted to show them. We're gonna give them a few treats. And Abby may be a bull rider today. Don't know yet, we're gonna check it out. You'll have to stick around to see if that happens. After that, we got a few chores to do. Many people have asked how our potato crop was. Well, if you stick around, you'll get to find out about it just like we do. So come along with us and we hope you enjoy. Okay, the weather's actually not too bad this morning, but the cows are still hanging out in the shade. They're actually in the back pasture where Normally they're in the front pasture whenever we see them around the pond, but they're just back here hanging out. We're going to park a little ways away from them so they don't come surround the gator like they normally do, and we're just going to walk out to them. It looks so peaceful out there. If we can find Joe and Leah and all the others. Look at Bunchy's looking straight at us. Yeah. Yep. Some of these guys are getting really big. Just watch your step. Yep, the tan one is Sally. The one with the white spot on her head. Hey everybody! Uh oh. Hey! 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 Oh, you are. He gets taller every time I see him. He's about as tall as me. Hi, sweet cow. Coming to say hi. He's like, ooh, that tastes good. Daddy, look behind me. Yeah, you got another friend. <laughs> you have somebody else who wants a treat. That one wants him. All the cows are Buck will probably let y'all pet him. Yeah, he likes that. I think he's good now. Uh, Leo, will take him. Who is that? Is that Ferdinand? Yes! You are Ferdinand. That's why you're supposed to get Ferdinand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, He's sweet. Yeah, he's Ferdinand. Hi, Ferdinand. Because Ferdinand's always sweet. Yay, little Ferdinand. He's so sweet. Hi, Ferdinand. Yep. Let's go find you. <laughs> he probably wants another treat. Yep. We don't want the others to realize we have treats, so they'll all be surrounded. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's go see what else we can, who else we can find. That might Joe. be Joe over there. Yeah. Well, there's Cupid. Yeah, there's Frosty. That's Cupid. Yeah. Cupid has yeah. a heart on his head. Cupid's got that heart on his head. Yeah, that's all you need. Cupid. Yeah. Is that Leah? No, he doesn't have a tag. That might be Leah laying down over there. I don't know if that was a boy. Huh? Is that you? Is it Joe? No, Joe's 243. I saw him looking over here. Hey guys! Sorry, I don't know who's 244. I don't know what's on that 244. I think Leah. Oh, where's she? She's got a little bit of 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 yeah. Especially Doc. Little kittens with horns. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Well, here, there's the stuff that looks going on. That must be kind of cool. It in the yard, they get distracted. So, if they're watching them, it's, they're not. Yeah, they're not. Hey, Joe. Yeah, they're all getting big. Feels nice out in the shade. Yeah. Here, y'all move back when you come out of the brush. Come on. I bet you, you could take a little full halter, put it on, and it may go anywhere. What do you think so? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I'm going to do it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. He's a big baby. He's a big baby. Yeah, he is a big baby. He's licking my hand instead of a tree. <laughs> Ooh, he's like, I don't, don't want I don't want it to spring. I want it. Okay, y'all come over here and maybe hit the mouth. He's doing ankle. He's just like come out here and get some Loves. more love. Yeah. Joe. <laughs> hey, buddy. Next time we need to bring a little baby house. Here, y'all stay over here. I'll take a Does that one over there have a name with a really pretty face? I didn't know if she had a name or not. I think that's not Oreo. The Oreo is one of the big cows, the medium cows. Oh, that's so sweet. I think Look, I think it's one of the ones. What? Joe, come on, Joe. I want you out of here. Too many briars to be out here in shorts. This little spot to be stopped. Because I don't want to be out here. Okay, so Abby really wants to be a jockey, and I told her anybody can ride a horse, <laughs> but to be a real jockey, you gotta ride a bull. So, Not by Joe, myself. here's a bull. Yes, he's very <laughs> So, let's see. Not by myself, you're gonna hold me. We'll see. Excuse me. So. Me, We're fixing to try it out and see how Don't let it. me go. Watch out, Don't let me go. Don't let me go. No, 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 no. Whenever you get That's on, one way to get him to move. Get out, Joe's like, what are you doing to me? He's like, what are you doing to me? Come here, baby. Yeah, I'm stuck. Okay. Okay. He's like, I'm not a baby anymore. Yeah, you really are. But he is a big baby. Okay. Try again? Yeah, but don't let me go. Hold on to him. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quit licking my leg. His tongue's so rough. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's trying to lick my leg. Okay, is you want to turn? Oh, no. No. Okay. <laughs> you said I you were the one earlier, one. like, I want to ride a bull. It's not scary. He just stands there. Whenever he walks, you pick me up. Okay. okay. He's like, I am not this kind of bull. I am not a bull riding bull. Help! Help! Or he's playing with you now. Let's try jump. Yeah. <laughs> you think that's funny? You think that's funny? He it does. It is right now, but when you get bigger, it might not be. <laughs> he is the sweetest. Next Are you rubbing her? <laughs> no, Leah's not that friendly. She's just good that she'll let us pet her now. Yeah. We don't want to. We don't want to get her where she's skittish because she's getting on her, but. He likes the attention. Yep. He'll love all over you. Just don't put your face right against his head because if he like, swung it, it would hurt. Oh, don't lie. He's got a bony head. A very bony brain. That means you got don't, Hey, don't bend down like that over his head because, like I said, if he swung it up, it could break your face. Big head means Don't want to do that. Brain. Big head means big brain. He's <laughs> <laughs> got big brain. Feels like he's got little spots where horns would be, so I don't know if he'll have horns or not, but you kind of see. So he may end up having some horns. I don't know. He might because Doc and DR. Hey, 
Are you going to be nice and friendly? Yeah, yeah, he could have horns because Doc and DR both have horns. Yeah. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, because I see them on foot. My hand tastes good. <laughs> That's so funny. Slimy. Yeah. Yeah. They're so rough. Mm -hmm. Helps them pull the grass and stuff in their mouth. Because they only have bottom teeth. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah he's the sweetest one. I said, we got some others that. What did you, you can doing? Pick. Let's see if we can. Oh. Hairball? <laughs> Something. Okay, Joe. Let's go give some other ones some attention. He's like, why? He's like, like I'm other ones. Let's go see. I think that's Leah, right? Just like, but I'm oh, other okay. ones. Okay. I don't know what it is. What if he starts following them? I bet she was that, was that one that was laying down. Tell me, don't matter. Watch out, that's a thorn tree there, so don't let it, don't get it to get Yeah. Wind. Yeah, that, oh, that is crazy. All these cows to the tree. Thorns on that. Is that Leah? Oh, there's Leah, isn't it? Yeah, that's Leah. Hey, Leah. Hey, Leah. Which, these are different trees. These are some we give the donkeys on, so they may not like them because they're molasses instead of apple. We'll buy, yeah, we'll buy some of the other. Oh. Oh, she likes them. Oh, she figured it out. <laughs> okay, now she, yeah, okay. Just don't, like, don't let everybody else in. Otherwise, Doc and DR will be up in the pocket. <laughs> These big cows are like, you got something good? Huh? Okay, Cleo. Cleo, yeah. You were letting me pet you the other day. Oh, she, she's. I have one too. <laughs> you got company behind you. Hey. Okay, there you go. Hey, watch that branch, baby. You're close to it. They're definitely less intimidated by the girls because they're oh, like right about their size. Joe oh, came back. Yeah. Hey, don't back into this branch, Abs. Yeah, right behind you. you. Here, why don't you get over here away from the thing, too? This is funny. It's crazy how she just went from not really being friendly to all of a sudden now that yeah. we've well, been out here more. She's let me pet her. Uh huh. That was the first time they'd been able to, but now she won't let me today. <laughs> she'll let them. She might. Keep it. Have you tried to feed this one right here? Yeah, she came up close to the smell of her. <laughs> uh, this one here is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got friends. They like. Do I smell treats? Nope. <laughs> Oh, you're <laughs> your multicolored friend over here. 
This one right here is really yeah. like an Abby. Hi. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Hi. This is the one that came up to me in the gator that day and was licking my hand. Oh. How sweet. Funny what a few treats will do. I know. Look, my best friend. Watch around the thorn tree is. Ta-da, it's my new best friend. That one doesn't have a name. I want to name it. What should I name it? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all going to have to come up with one, though. Uh, <laughs> Leah, come on. Come the like I said, Scott and DR are both super friendly. Doc more so than DR, but yeah, they're just so big. We want to be careful. The girls, especially the girls, be careful around because I don't want to be swatting at something or sling their head around and end up getting somebody with their horn. And for those of you who don't know, Doc is the light colored one over there. And DR, he's toward the back over there. He's a little darker in color. Yeah. Like I said, they're both super friendly. DR's a little moodier than Doc, though, sometimes. Or yeah. has a little more attitude, I guess. He's still friendly, but not near as friendly as Doc. Yeah. Yeah. And that's Brenda? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody just all piled up over here now. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy. I mean, they're hanging out in the shade, but it's the cooler part of the day, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, Brenda. She is so pretty. Don't let Dr. DR see them or they'll be up here in my pocket. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, so Leah. Hi, baby. Let's do that. That's perfect. Oh. The reason why we made this stupid is he has a hard on him. Okay. Where? Right here? Yeah. 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 She may be tired of treats. Well, she was. I feel like she wanted one. Here, Brenda will take it. Yeah. I'll take it. Oh. Mm. What? Oh, there's Joe. Joe. He's like, y'all better not be skipping out and giving me some loving. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I know, but he says it's not enough. She's a princess. princess. Isn't that right, buddy? Princess. Princess Leah instead of Princess Leia. Yep. <laughs> Brenda's sticking her head in between them so she can yeah. get extra attention. Okay, let's walk on down here. Hey, Doc. Hey, Dior. And this is who over here? Sally. Sally. Hey, Sally. She's like, nope. Here comes Brenda. <laughs> Brenda. Brenda. Yeah, the other thing with the bulls right now is they seem to be specifically interested in a couple of the cows. And so, since they're both here, we just don't want to get in the middle of that either if they... It's called magic. <laughs> Wait, I want to know my little rainbow buddy. Yeah, I'm You're going to come up with a name. Um, no, not Brenda. The one that I know, the black here. and white one? Um, magic. Magic? Yeah. Okay. That's cute. You have to tell Granddad. 
<laughs> yep, they're slobbery slimy. Oh, they playing? Yeah, they're just messing around. Just trying to show who's boss. That's what I'm saying. There's that one cow that they're specifically interested in, mm -hmm. and that's one reason I didn't want us to get between them and her. I don't, I don't think they'd ever do anything on purpose to hurt anybody. But no. It could accidentally happen. Yeah. Sunday, you want the last oh, is you are disgusting after getting those cow slobbers on you and wiping it on your face. <laughs> He's like a big old slobber ball. <laughs> yeah. She's like, y'all have any more treats? No more pets. <laughs> She's like, it cost fifty thousand treats to pet. Yep. So, but that's the cows. Y'all got to see the babies. You got to see them ride a bull. Both of them. <laughs> Wasn't sure we yep. were gonna get to see both of them. Someday we may get them on dock. Who knows? Maybe not. Maybe so. Just maybe depends. DR. No, maybe Brenda. Not Dr. No, maybe not Brenda. Brenda's not that friendly. Yes, she is. Doc would probably let y'all sit on him, but we're just not gonna do that out in the field. But that's the cows. We're fixing to go get cooled off for a little bit and then get started digging potatoes or. Hopefully digging potatoes. You'll have to stick around and see if we actually get anything or not. We're super late on them, but, I mean, life happens, and mm -hmm. we were late getting them planted. The weeds kind of took over, and then we had to mow the tops down. So hopefully we find potatoes, but if not, we'll just chalk it up to another fail for the year because that just seems to be the way this year <laughs> yeah. has been going with the garden. Yeah. We've not had a success yet in the garden, but hopefully we'll get to change that soon. Yep. But let's go load up on the gator and get out of here. And I got to put a hay bale out with the sheep and goats. All right. So we've had a lot of people asking how our potato harvest was and truth is we're just now getting to it y'all know that we were a little late getting them planted so it got really hot the weeds kind of took over and so we finally got those mowed back we dug some up I don't know, a month and a half ago they were still pretty small but we had them for new potatoes so we decided to give them a little bit longer i came through mowed all this back real good and i'm hoping that all the potatoes are still under there and growing good so we're fixing to dig and find out Hopefully we'll have some, but if not, then we'll just chalk it up to another failure. All right, here goes nothing. Just a little something right there. Oh, there we go. Look at there, guys. They may be small. but not an absolute disaster. Okay, so we don't want to dig too many of these up until we can get them picked up, but looks like we've got a harvest. They are still really small, but like I said, I think it's because we were late getting them planted. It got so hot, the vines died back a lot sooner than they normally would. But I'm just thrilled that we actually have something in the ground to harvest here. We're gonna get some of these. I think Kimberly might make some potato soup tonight now. Yes. And then we're gonna try canning some. We've never canned potatoes before. I've seen a lot of people do it, but we've not done it personally since, at least since we've been married. Uh, I don't know. Our parents might have done it growing up, but. Mine did not. We're going to give it a shot and see how that goes too. But we're gonna get the girls and we're fixing to get to work picking these up. I'm really excited. These are so pretty. All right, the potato picking crew has arrived. Look at how tiny you have potatoes. Oh, how cute. Yeah, since, since there was no vines to see, I wasn't sure exactly if I was right on line or not. And plus using a plow, you'll lose a few like that. You'll probably put those aside and either compost them or just throw them out or something. I don't know, I don't think they're good for the <laughs> 
Yep, save the tiny ones too. Look. They'll, they'll all work. Since I, didn't look. Have, since I didn't have vines to go off of, what I'll probably do is after we pick up all these, I'll turn around and then plow back down each side to make sure we turn them all off. Yeah. Since they're not very big, we want to get all we can. I wonder if we might be able to save some of these and put them out in the sun and let them if they'll form eyes and then we can replant some fall. Probably. Because nobody around here keeps seed potatoes for the fall, so it's just a matter of if we have some, we might be able to try them. Mm -hmm. This is a lot better than what I was thinking it was going to be. <laughs> I was afraid that since it meant so long that they were just all going to be either rotten or... Non-existent. Because <laughs> like I said, the vines died really early, which is why they're so small. Yeah. But we like small potatoes. Yep. Probably the small potatoes as well. Yep, it's pretty tiny. Well. Abby, let's measure them. Let's see how. Oh, see who has the smallest potato. Oh, me. Izzy. So this oh, yep, yeah, Izzy's is still small. <laughs> I'm going to find one smaller now. The competition has begun. <laughs> Uh, there's one out of there, isn't it? I just saw it lost. Awesome. But I'm fixing to go ahead and plow some more since there's no more than what there is. Yeah. Uh, the first round. Uh huh. Because I thought it was going to pick those up. Yeah. Now let's see this. Oh, that's tiny. All right. Everybody back away from the tractor, okay? This is See what else we can find. Oh, there's some nice ones. That's awesome. Potato picking pals. I'm gonna be right here. I choose this spot. Yep. That big potato. She's still turning them up. I see them still coming out of there. So. so these are a little bit bigger. Like that's a pretty decent size one. And that's not too bad. Yeah. They're all down through there. That is amazing. Y'all, I did not expect this this year. Really, really thought that it was going to be just a absolute bust since the garden and all that didn't do so well. How's it going? Potato picking partners is what they're saying. Potato picking pals. Potato picking pals. Potato picking partners. I've heard both now. Potato picking people. Potato picking people. Have you seen Abby's bucket yet? <laughs> Got a bunch. Now I'm just glad we actually got some harvest with all the failures we've had this year. We needed a win, even if it's a small one. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's been rough. Between the wet spring, your surgery and us being late, and then it turned into terrible heat. Yeah. You just don't have anything. Hey, right by where you were stepping up, so there's a couple more. There's a bigger one, too. crazy how many there are even if they're small especially expecting no harvest don't make your shoulders hurt yeah hopefully so I mean, with the amount that are still like piled on the sides and everything or stuck in the sides, surely that means there's more. Yeah. Let's see if pass number two yields anything.
just one in every great while. Stay back a little bit, okay? I'll let some of the dust dissipate. Oh, you okay? Yeah. It was a big one. Okay, so now we're hot and sweaty and a little bit tired, but we've got almost two five gallon buckets full. They're I don't know, probably a little over three quarters each. So we've got some, like I said, it wasn't a great harvest, but at least it's something. We'll have some good potato soup. I'm probably gonna try to save out a few of these to see if we can get them to sprout so that we can do some fall potatoes. We've never done that before, but if we get another batch, it would really help out. So. We're fixing to go take these up to the house, spread them out, cool off for a little bit before we get started again.